In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can secure your website with one plugin and for free. Hello, I'm Al from Open Source Channel and welcome to this new tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As I said, I'm going to install a free plugin and I'm going to show you how to secure your website fast. I already got a website here with a pre-made template. For this tutorial, I'm also going to use a free app that is available for Android and iOS. It's also available for Windows, Mac and Linux. I'm going to use Authy, it's free. You can find all the details in the description below, all the addresses. As you can see, this is the one installed on my phone and this is the app from Mac iOS. All right, so this is what I'm going to use. I already got that pre-installed on my phone. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to install the actual iDeem securely. As you can see, the actual plugin is already installed. I have activated. Now you can find items in one minute from my shorts video and that shows how to install the actual plugin fast in one minute. But this is the longer version plus more security using two-factor authentication. So let's start. Let's go to the security tab. Let's press setup and here we are in the setup. We got different tabs that we can actually go and start with. We're going to use the one that reflects our website. In this case, it's going to be blog. So I'm going to click on blog. Then I'm going to click on self or client. In this case, it's going to be self as I do myself. If you do it for a client, you can do that way. Then yes, I'm going to uh, make sure it's yes, enforce a password policy for the users. Then I go next. And this is all about, I'm going to enable the two-factor authentication. And, and as I said before, you're going to need this apps to generate codes for you. Then I'm going to click next. I'm going to make sure those two are enabled. Next again, security check pro enabled too. And as you can see, detects correct way to identify user IP addresses based on the server configuration. Then next, then I'm going to make sure it's default. Again, you can do customs and you can change things after as well. You don't have to do it, you know, you can do it in a way and then change after. Okay. This is allows user groups and enable security features for each set of users. So you can actually do things that way. So that's next. And then we go here. We make sure that everything as it stays, you don't have to do a lot of other things. The two factors, skip the authentication onboarding. I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. And I'm going to go to next again. Uh, there is not much to do here. All you're going to do is next, next. There is nothing really to change rather than the one I already showed you before. I'm going for the recommended. Here I go to authorize the IP. It will identify your IP. You can authorize it so your IP will never get banned. Okay. You can uh, make sure it's security check scan recommended and then press next. For security purpose, my IP has been uh, blurred a little bit. Here you can put your email address so you can actually receive the email updates. All right, that's up to you if you want to do no. I'm not going to put it, it's next now. And again, the same thing. Who is going to receive the emails for the notifications? I'm going to leave it as all administrators users and I'm going to do continue. Now everything is done, simple as I'm going to press secure site now and all the configuration will be created and applied for. And as you can see, it's doing it as we are speaking. I'm going to click on finish. All right, so I'm going to click on dashboard. This is what the dashboard dashboard looks like of the IDM security. You can change the tabs and move it as you as you wish. Now let's go to the uh, settings there. Let's go to the user profile. This is where I'm going to generate the QR code that I'm going to use it to log in with the two-factor authentication. What I'm going to do with the actual app, you can actually scan this QR code. And once you actually scan the QR code, it's going to give you six, I think six number digit where you can actually use that to log in and to register the app with the actual website. I'm going to update the profile because I already scanned the actual QR code. Now let's close this one up here. Let's go back here. Let's go 
out of the website let's log in and see if they ask for the six digit code and as you can see you're asking for authorization code now the authorization code is from the app i'm going to add these six numbers and then i'm going to press authenticate and as you can see we are back in wordpress dashboard and as you can see you got a firewall and the two-factor authentication and you just secured your website in no time all right guys so we came to an end of this tutorial don't forget to like subscribe share the videos i can make more videos if you do that nevertheless i'm gonna see you next time